Okay, welcome to another episode of Building Better Business, the Better Business Bureau vlog. I am your host, Paula Fleming, Chief Marketing and Sales Officer here at BBB. I'd like to welcome Jonathan Browning, who is the Marketing Director for TCG Network Services. Welcome, Jonathan. Hi, Paula. Thanks so much. So let, I know a little bit, uh, you're headquartered in Natick, which is my hometown. Um, can you tell me a little bit about the company? Sure. Um, so we were founded in 1987. Uh, so we've been around for quite a while. We're an, an IT services and cybersecurity company. Um, we've got about 30 employees now, uh, offices in Natick, like you said, and, and in Boston as well. Great. Uh, so you, the longevity of the business um, speaks for itself. So congratulations on that. I know a lot of smaller businesses to mid-sized businesses, um, just to even make it through the first five years is an accomplishment. So uh, congratulations on that. Tell me a little bit about uh, what you offer and who your target audience is. Sure. So we uh, appeal to kind of small and mid-sized businesses, um, some enterprise-sized businesses as well. Um, that have small IT departments, or in some cases, no IT department, um, and they need help um, with things like help desk and um, cloud migration, um, things like cybersecurity and network security, uh, all of the things that a, a business needs um, that maybe they don't have the budget for or um, the expertise to do themselves. So mm -hmm. outsourcing makes a lot of sense. It does. And for the companies that use you guys for outsourcing, um, because our audience right now are the potential customers that you're looking for, mm -hmm. um, what can they expect from you when they when they reach out and, and start to start the process of outsourcing? Because many of our companies, you know, they are the uh, landscapers, contractors, um, they're multi-million dollar businesses, but they don't have the resources that you may offer. So what can you... Um, share with us to help them um, when they're saying, oh, outsourcing, that's interesting. Can you elaborate a little bit? Sure. So I think for us, the key is um, the IT road mapping process. Mm -hmm. So um, when we take on a new client, we go through a proposal process where we analyze their IT needs and we come up with a set of recommendations, you know, mm -hmm. the, a plan that will get them started with us and address the immediate needs that they have. Mm -hmm. um, but kind of the, the unique thing with us is that we do ongoing um, IT assessments and we produce roadmaps for our clients. So, you know, we agree to what the goals are going to be in three months and six months and a year. And we talk about the reasonable steps that are necessary to get you there. Um, and uh, we look at the budget that's available and, you know, maybe some projects are deferred a little bit further into the future in order to get you to where you, you want to be okay. um, right now. Interesting. So um, obviously, as marketing director um, and times have changed over the last year during the pandemic, how have you found that this has affected your business? It's a great question. Um, in the, the first couple of months, it was kind of rocky and uncertain for all of our existing clients and for ourselves as well. Um, we were tasked with basically migrating all of the, the staffers that were in the office, you know, uh, nine to five, Monday through Friday, uh, to work from home shifts. Mm -hmm. And, you know, how do you do that securely and efficiently and um, without any downtime? So we were able to do that for all of our existing clients and for ourselves as well. And um, kind of in the the process after that, it's been a lot of, you know, I'm, I hate to say the word opportunity, but it, mm -hmm. it really has been. You know, we've been reaching out to, to companies and saying, how can we help? And um, there have been just amazing connections that we've been able to make one on one. And, and that's led to new business for us. So if you're doing an elevator pitch, say you have a $3 million to $4 million um, contractor in front of you, what would that look like? Um, would love to be in that elevator any day of the week. Um, <laughs> um, but sure, I, you know, I would say that um, you know, it is a crowded market when it comes to managed services companies. Mm -hmm. um, and there are a lot of smaller, and, and I hate to say fly by night, but I, I think that that's the way that um, the best way that I can describe them. Mm -hmm. um, companies out there. So 
you want to, to find a partner that is knowledgeable, um, that has contracting um, clients already, that has a, a base of knowledge that you know you can pull from, mm -hmm. and um, will be there three, five, 10, 15 years down the road. I mean, some of our longest clients have been with us for more than a decade. So we're very proud of those relationships. Um, so if, if there's a business and because of the pandemic, um, everyone is virtual in this day and age, well, that works great because, you know, you're in the technology industry, but how does that work when you are talking about businesses? I assume there's roadblocks because you can't actually go in to a lot of businesses at this time. How do you deal with that? Sure. So, um, 10, 15 years ago, it would have been a nightmare. Um, but the the way that, that technology has been changing over the, the past decade or so um, has really shifted managed services to a remote kind of business. Mm -hmm. So 80 or 90% of the things that we do can be done um, from our offices in Natick and can assist you in Bangladesh, wherever you may be. We can uh, remote into your computer, we can make the changes, we can uh, set up a remote session where we're walking you through the problem and explaining what you may not be catching on the, the first time through. Um, we do, because we are an essential business, we uh, are still making house calls. Um, you know, we are visiting businesses on site um, and we do take extreme precautions. Um, the um, hand washing procedures and the disinfection disinfecting procedures and uh, masks. We're going through all of the steps on a daily basis. Um, anytime anybody comes into the office or leaves the office to make sure that we have the confidence that that person is going to be healthy and is going to um, you know, respect and take care of the, the clients that we're working with. That's important uh, now and moving forward um, that you are aware of your, um, you know, team members and their safety, but as the safety of your clients as well. So that's great to hear. Uh, as a leader in the biz at the business, um, let, I'm just curious where for, for marketing purposes specifically, technology is sometimes overwhelming. I know for me, you know, put me in front of a camera, I'm not shy, put me in front of a computer and I'm having tech issues and, you know, I'm trying to get on and my kids are trying to get on and I'm, you know, trying to run a company as well. I don't know where to begin. Um, so what do, you, what do you say to the people that are, you know, decision makers that can do their job, but the technology aspect is so overwhelming, they don't even know where to start. Um, and sometimes intimidated to even reach out to a business like yours because you come off a little bit, you know, dumb and you want, you're not, you don't want to do that. Right. So what would you say to that? I, I think that everybody can be intimidated by someone that is a specialist. Mm -hmm. um, and that can be intimidating for anyone, you know, it, even the people that are, that are here um, that have been here for 10 or 15 years, you can meet someone that is uh, truly a, um, a specialist in a field and, and feel a little intimidated. Um, but we're all humans um, and we really try to go above and beyond to make people feel comfortable. Um, and, you know, even if it's something silly and easy to fix, mm -hmm. um, you might have missed it, you know, the, the first time through and um, nobody's going to make you feel dumb. You know, we're always going to act as, as consultants. It's always going to be a white glove experience because you're our clients and, and we care for you. So that's um, that's our priority. That's great. So you wouldn't laugh at me when I had to Google what an Ethernet cord was for <laughs> my son because I was not sure what he was talking about. <laughs> no, and, and it's amazing because my daughter is 12 and now the STEM education in school is so intense mm -hmm. that, um, that they're going to be schooling us before you know it. Right. I agree with that. I think my, my kids are already doing that. <laughs> um, so tell me a little bit about events that are happening in the future. I know you guys have some some cool things happening. Could you share that with the people listening? Yeah. So the, the big thing that's coming up is on Earth Day. Uh, we're doing a recycling event for companies that are in the region. Mm -hmm. um, so that is April 22nd. So that's a Thursday. And that runs from 10 in the morning until 2 p.m. in the afternoon. Um, and that is a little bit unique in that we are working with a local nonprofit that refurbishes computers and gives them to needy families in Massachusetts. That's amazing. So, 
So as things come through the door, you know, the, uh, people drop things off. Uh, we will be uh, working with PC for Everyone, this nonprofit, to kind of determine if it's something that can be salvaged or if it should be recycled. Okay. And if, if it needs to be recycled, then we're going to do that at, at our expense. Okay. And where can they find out more information about this event? Yep. So our website's probably the easiest way to, to get that information. So that is tcgns.com. Great. And so is this focused on anyone and everyone, or are you focusing in on businesses that maybe are downsizing during this time? And do people have to register? So registration is not necessary. Um, it is a corporate event. So we are targeting businesses in the region. Um, so when a, a car shows up uh, near our, our table, it's going to be set up behind our building. Mm -hmm. um, we will, you know, as in as safe a, a way as possible in, in this COVID age, um, accept the hardware, um, get the information from the person in terms of who they are and what the business is, and then move them along. So there's not going to be a ton of interaction. The idea is to just um, collect these items and then get them into the appropriate place. And if people are hesitant because there might be sensitive information on their Chromebooks or on their computers, um, how could you address that? Yep. Um, so every piece of hardware that has memory will be wiped. Okay. Um, that, that will be wiped before it goes to PC for everyone um, for refurbishing, or it will be wiped before it goes to, to the recycling center. Okay. So um, you can have absolute confidence that anything that is there will be destroyed. That's important, mm -hmm. especially in this day and age of, you know, identity theft and it ne is never going away. <laughs> um, Absolutely. So, that, so that's helpful to know. What about social media? Do you have a presence on social media? And as the marketing director, um, where do you put that in? Um, it, when it, how does it play for your, you know, yearly when you're looking at everything from a marketing standpoint, social media? Yeah, so we are active on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and Instagram. Um, we try to put out kind of a variety of content on a, a daily and a weekly basis. So. Mm -hmm. Um, we want to position ourselves as, as subject matter experts and thought leaders. Mm -hmm. So we're um, sharing, you know, tips and tricks and things that we find interesting and articles that demonstrate that, you know, people that don't take cybersecurity uh, seriously, it can come back to bite you. Um, so um, we've seen that all too often in the news. <laughs> yeah, just unfortunately. But, um, you know, we... Um, We'll pu push out a, a ton of information about this Earth Day event and encourage everybody to check it out there. Great. Um, and I know that from the Better Business Bureau standpoint as a member, we're also um, pushing it out on social media as well because it is extremely important not only uh, to make sure that you have your, you know, if you are getting rid of uh, technology, that it is in secure and safe hands. And then you're taking it a step further by then refurbishing it and, and working with a nonprofit. So that's amazing, amazing and kudos to you for thinking it all the way through. Um, so just to wrap up, uh, see, uh, you know, we're talking technology, people are watching their small businesses to medium sized businesses, it's your audience and they don't know, well, this is great, it's informative. I now know about this business. I know about the Earth Day event, but how do I know if I'm the right fit for them? What would you say to those people that, you know, are, we're wrapping up? and they're not sure if they're a fit for you. I, I would say that almost everyone out there, we can uh, provide benefit to. Mm -hmm. um, even if it's answering a quick question, a five minute kind of question, um, or you know, moving them in the right direction. So whether you're ultimately a client with us or not, we wanna get to know you, we wanna be friends, and we wanna help you on your technology journey. So don't hesitate, reach out to us and, if ultimately we work together, then that's wonderful. But that's that's only the start. That's not the end of the road. That's great. Thank you so much for your time, Jonathan. I appreciate appreciate it. And again, it's TCG Network Services. You can find them online. You can also check them out at BBB.org.